Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I wanted to talk about NixOS. So what is NixOS? Essentially what NixOS is, is a Linux distribution that builds itself using configuration files rather than the normal paradigm of installing apps via an app store or configuring things using a settings menu. You write all your configuration, all the apps you want, all the system services you want installed into a configuration file or a set of configuration files and that then is your system. You can sync the state of the system with whatever is written in the configuration file. So this has a lot of benefits but also a lot of downsides. Downsides being, oh it's really weird to use and the configuration setup is hard to learn and stuff like that. But I think that the benefits outweigh the negatives. So what are some of these benefits? One of the first things that NixOS is really good at is modularity. With NixOS, you can make your system highly modular. So what do I mean? This is my configuration and I have a bunch of modules in my configuration. So all of the stuff in this user directory that I have are modules, like for example, my Doom Emacs module, doom.nix. So if I import this module into a configuration, what it will do is install Doom Emacs and configure it exactly the way that I like it. And so you can imagine if you have tons and tons of modules, you can create slight variations of your systems very easily. And that sort of looks like this. So in your configuration, you can put an imports block and then import all the modules you want and comment out any modules that you might not want, for example. And so with this, it makes it very easy to make multiple profiles. Like here I have a work profile and I also have a personal profile, which is the one that you're seeing right now. I have a home lab profile, which is what I would install on a server. It's very easy to just take these pieces and move them in and out of various systems. And there's actually another level to this as well, more than just these module files. You can also set up your system via a flake to have sort of these kind of like global variables in a sense, that if you change one of them, it will replicate that change amongst your entire system. And I have here a very striking example with my theme variable. So this is the theme of my entire system, sort of the color scheme. Right now I'm using Uwu Nicorn, got that Uwu action going on, but if I wanted to become a slightly more respectable human being, I could change this theme to a different one, like for example, Grovebox. And as soon as I sync my configuration, like so, you'll see the entire system is now using Grovebox. I know a lot of people are also Solarized fans, so here, here's Solarized Dark. Boom. Entire system is now solarized. So you can then imagine having a ton of these variables like I have here, my username, my theme, my window manager, default browser, font, and just by changing one of these, you can replicate that change across the entire system, which I think that's a really cool feature because it's managing the whole system you can do cool tricks like this. Okay, so what's next? What else is NixOS really good at? Another thing that's really good at, and this ties into the whole, the entire system is managed by a configuration file, is that it is very good at managing multiple systems. And this is because of course, your system is defined by a configuration file, so all you need to do to replicate the system is move that configuration file to the new system. If you're a business owner, for example, and you 
want to have a bunch of employee laptops all have the same configuration. You write the configuration once and then you put that configuration on all the computers. This is also really good for managing servers. When I was first learning NixOS, I of course read a lot about NixOS and one person who uses NixOS is Henrik Listener. He is the creator and maintainer of Doom Emacs. And what he has to say about NixOS, the reason he uses NixOS is because he manages hundreds of servers and without NixOS, it is quote, the 10th circle of hell, which I can totally believe that being the case. So NixOS is very good at managing multiple systems. So last bit that NixOS is really good at is the ability to recover from a disaster scenario. So because your entire system state is stored in the configuration file, essentially, this is very good for any sort of disaster with your system. It could be something as simple as an update, breaking some stuff on your system, or it could be something as drastic as the computer starting on fire or being tossed into a lake. Everyone always says have good file backups. And this is really good advice. But what about the system state? If you're someone like me who spends a bunch of time configuring and optimizing the system to your specific workflow, then having that workflow be destroyed by some adverse event is something I get paranoid about. But with NixOS, I don't need to be paranoid about this because the entire configuration is just here in my dot files. And if I, for whatever reason, lose this working state for my machine, I can just go in and reinstall using my configuration files, or even quicker, if it was an update that broke the system, there's a very quick rollback functionality that can boot your system into a working configuration while you figure out what the update broke. This happened with me personally, well, not me specifically, but my wife uses NixOS as well. And a few days ago, an update broke the full disk encryption on her machine. Now, everything on the machine was still encrypted. It's just the decryption passphrase that she normally uses was not functioning to open up the machine. So she could not get into her system. What did we do? Well, we just got rid of the, what was there, reinstalled and got our configuration back because we had a backup of our configuration and a backup of all our files elsewhere. So it was really quick to get it back. And just to show you how quick it is literally to get it back, how simple it is. Assuming you have your configuration files stored elsewhere, here's what you do. You clone your configuration from whatever other machine it is, regenerate the hardware config for the new machine, sync your system configuration, install home manager, and sync your user level configuration. That's five steps. When we reinstalled her system, I think it was a grand total of like 15 minutes or 20 minutes of actual effort. And the rest of the time was just waiting for the system to build and waiting for her files to be restored. So very, very quick and easy to get back up and running again with the specific custom tailored setup using NixOS. So those are the three main reasons I think NixOS is great. It's very modular. It's very easy to set up your system on multiple machines. And it is very easy to reinstall your entire setup in the event that something terrible happens. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be starting a tutorial series on how I have my NixOS set up. Because of the complexity of NixOS, there's like a thousand and one different ways you can set up your configuration files. So I wanted to showcase my way that I do it. And I'm going to try and make it as beginner friendly as possible because I still am a bit of a NixOS beginner myself. I've only been using it for six or seven months, I think. 
So look forward to that. Make sure you're subscribed if you're interested in that. If you dislike this video, please leave a dislike and let me know what you disliked about the video in the comment section down below. That's it for today though, and have a great rest of your day.